I just wanted you to watch me dissolve slow. Is that a cool color? I don't even watch TikTok anymore, but now I just... I I look like the worst TikToker person. I'm holding the remote upside down. I do have the dissolve song stuck in my head, though. I just wanted you to watch me dissolve. <laughs> I'm saying it again. Let's hope it's working, though. I completely forgot what I was planning to do. What was it? Probably just mess with my lights for a video. So pretty cool. People are going to watch this. Messing with my lights. I'm going to make YouTube. People are going to watch it. No. Um, I completely forgot what I was going to do. This is one thing I want to say. So I'm doing an art project for school. I'm going to make a video out of it. Um, and I'm redesigning an album cover. We're doing printing. I'm in, we're doing it's. We have to use screen printing. Um, and the cover I wanted to redesign was was Apricot Princess by um, Rex Orange County, and. One of the things on it is the background is going to be a bunch of notes of I tried to get people to write um, things that they would want to say to someone that hurt them. But it turns out I'm too scared to go up and ask people to write things that they would want to say. I feel like that's kind of vulnerable, especially if just I come up to random people at my school and ask them to do that, and I don't have the guts to do that. So... If any of you want to, you can just write in the comments, I guess, if you want, like, if you have something, some phrase or something that you would want to say, or a bunch of phrases or anything that you'd want to say to someone that hurt you, and then I'm going to draw it, like, write it, like, in doodly notes, and then I'm going to print that on the background, and then I'll make a video about redesigning the cover and all the ideas that I have, but if anybody wants to has any like things they'd want to say to someone that hurt them that I can put on that that'd be awesome <laughs> but I do I I do want to make more art videos in the future because I like doing those and yeah they're fun I just like doing all the creative stuff so if you want to watch more you can subscribe <laughs> I feel so weird ah, no. <laughs> It's so weird saying that, but you can subscribe if you want to watch more. <laughs> Sorry, not used to that. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, because I can't do an art project, because I don't have the equipment. I had a whole plan for one I wanted to do, but I don't have equipment for one. So I wanted to talk, I also like movies, I have a bunch of, I like wrote down a list of ideas for videos I want to make, because I, this is my happy place, is making videos right now, because it's like in my room at night, and I have, I don't know, this is, I really like doing this, um, but, sorry, um, I'm not a super adamant reader, because I have bad ADHD, and so I am really bad at focusing on stuff, but, I, there are few, I, when I read books, I really like, like, I really enjoy books and stories. Um, so I wanted to talk about a book that affected me in a lot of ways, and it's a comic book. It's called Relish, um, by Lucy, I don't even want to, um, I, Nisley, I, I know I should look that up, but I, I, I've never heard anyone say it, and I'm not sure that's right. I read this a long time ago, and I said Knizzly at first, but that's... I don't... That's definitely wrong. Um, but it's about her... It's like an a autobiography about her growing up with food. And this book is really special to me, and so I kind of want to talk about it because it's affected me in a lot of ways. I don't know. Um... But it's it's really I like it. It's built 
there's like chapters as part of her life and at the end of each chapter she has a recipe um and and each chapter's yeah it's like sections of her life and i don't know it's really special to me the first thing it did to like affect me was it, it's i i really love food um i love to enjoy food i love to explore when i went on exchange that was one of the most exciting things for me like to travel but also just to travel and see food is this really good? i didn't realize how crooked this sorry that just probably destroyed the microphone i didn't realize how crooked this shot was is that better the thing was like sideways oh, sorry um Anyways, this book specifically, like, I love food, but this book really inspired me to love food even more. Um, she talks about food in such a way that I just like how she gets excited about it and how she is, you know, it's she's an artist, but food is also a creative medium, and I really like the way she sees that. I also love the way she takes art and food, because... One of my favorite things about people, creative people, my fate, like the people that I'm motivated most by are like people like other YouTubers, like Kick the PJ, um, Takashi Murakami, just two people off the top of my head, that they take their art and they just do what they want with it. They just make what they want. Like Kick the PJ, he, he, he makes these skits. And then he does a goofy drawing video, and then he makes this, like, voices acting video with Jacksepticeye, and then he makes, um, he just plays the Wii theme on guitar with all, the, like, through editing, and that really motivates me, because I like when someone, you see this creative, like, a creative drive through everything that they do. It's not like they're trying to fit their creativity into the box that they are, but they're just letting, they're just following their creativity. Like Takashi, um, he will make these giant, huge murals, and then he'll create this thing called Superflat, and then he'll design a burger, and then make clothing, and then do all this stuff. And partially he can do that because he has such a, he's created a following, and he has this whole hype beast culture or whatever, but... I find that really motivating, the way that you can just follow your creativity, not be stuck in art. That's why it's hard for me to, like, I want to go to school and design, but that's hard because I love music and I love photography, even though I'm not good at it. And I love film and I, everything creative I find so interesting. I think that's kind of why I'm attracted to just being happy, just like making these videos because I can, it's an excuse for me to just do things but I see this in her because she takes food and her art and she talks about and it, it's like intertwined her the creativity between these things and how she thinks about it is like intertwined and I that's I was really motivated by that and that's one of the ways like this book I don't like this book affected me way more than it should have because like, I, it's come up again and again in my life. Like, I shared it. Like, I had a, like, um, like, I had a, a bonding experience with my, my brother's, well, now wife, um, because I, like, shared this book with her, and it, it was special to me, and now she loves all of the work that Lucy does, like, all of her books, and I've shared it with my friends, and, like, when I went to Chicago to see my brother, um, she, Lucy, lived there for a while. She went to art school, and I took a list of restaurants from her book that she had written out at the end, and I wanted to go. I was like, I got to go to all these restaurants and go see them, and I knocked off, like, three or four. But just because they were from this book, it was, like, a super special experience, and it's like, this has made me always want to make a comic book, and it's given me... It's just, it's come up again and again, just, like, motivating me. But just the way she talks about food in this, like, this, like, abstract, exciting way. That I just love when people get excited about things and that she gets, she feels so excited about food. And that gets me excited about food. And 
so that gave me a lot of excitement and I love cooking and I love to eat food and a lot of that is because of this book um and yeah I don't know I just love it so much <laughs> um and like I, I was looking into the school she went to because of this book anyways I don't know what I'm talking about in this video but I just this book is really special to me and I kind of wanted to just generally talk about why because because I love it and it's given me a lot of motivation and so it's kind of it's a special book I don't know what I still don't know what I'm trying to say but I just I'm thankful really thankful for this book and it's really special to me and so I want other people to enjoy it um because it affected me and it's like it's just a little cute book but I love it so much I get affected by these little cute books way too much like Winnie the Pooh is really important to me in this other book called um the beginning of the end wait I think they're yeah the end of sorry the end of the beginning just these little weird books affected me the most because it just feels like something the best thing like i was saying is coming just straight from someone like just is like so either they're just like f doing what they're they creatively want to or they just just these little cute things just feel like they're coming straight from someone and that's why i think they've affected me so much but thank you for watching <laughs> this is so weird to say thank you for watching if you like if you want to see, I want to make more music and art stuff in the future. I just didn't have, I haven't got the setup to make anything else, so I just want to talk about this. If you want to see more music and art, subscribe. <laughs> so weird. Um, doomed to play out with a song. Papers lie there helplessly About outside the door I tried and tried But I just can't Remember what they're for The world outside is tugging us A beggar at my sleeve Though it's much too 